In this video, I'm going to talk about five underrated albums from the year 1999. This is the last episode of the series. I may have to revisit it in the future by going back and doing some more albums. But for now, it's going to be the last video. And it's a pretty good one because I think I have uh, maybe one of the most underrated albums of the entire series. And it features a member of the band Death. I have an album that everybody hates, but I like, and I'll tell you why. I got some industrial metal. I have some crossover thrash. And a solo album by someone famous from the grunge scene who passed away a few years ago. So we will talk about all of that. I divide this video into chapters, so feel free to jump to the album you want to hear about. First album I have is The Fragile Art of Existence by Control Denied. This is a band started by Chuck uh, Schuldinger from the band Death. And when I heard this, my first impression was it sounded a lot like Death, but it sounded more like that. Sound of uh, Perseverance album from 1998. But the difference being that there were clean vocals and the vocals were more like traditional heavy metal. This is the only album the band released. Uh, they were working on the second album. But uh, Chuck died in 2001, so they were never able to finish it. And as far as I know, there are no plans to complete it. So in this band, uh, Chuck Schulinger plays guitar. And his guitar sound is very distinct. As soon as you turn on the album, you know it's him playing. The album also has Steve DiGiorgio on bass, and he was in the band uh, Death for a short time as well. The album is just very good. It might be like the biggest hidden gem out of all the albums I talked about in the series. And the opening track is called Consumed. As soon as you hear it, it it's going to remind you of something like from The Sound of Perseverance. I mean, for me, it reminded me of The Flesh and the Power It Holds. But the rest of the album is uh, labeled as progressive metal and power metal. I don't really agree with that. I would say more progressive and traditional heavy metal. But it's really like the sound of the last Death album, but with more of a heavy metal style vocals. Definitely a great album. If you didn't know it existed and you're a fan of Death, definitely uh, check it out. That's why it is underrated. Next is Risk by Megadeth, released on August 31st, 1999, through Capitol Records. And this is the album, Everybody Hates It, but... And I get it, because it doesn't sound like Megadeth. But the thing with this album is that if you rank it with the other Megadeth albums, it will come towards the bottom. Or I can see some people that would actually put it dead last. But for me, as an alternative rock album, it's probably the best of 1999. If I were like to put this up against like other rock albums released this year, this would be my... Number one, because you just have to forget that it's Megadeth and enjoy it for like the rock album that it is. And it's just really good if you look at it that way. So the album has a very good lineup. Dave Mustaine on guitars, David Elveson on bass, Marty Friedman on guitars, and Jimmy DeGrasso on drums. I think out of all the songs, the one song that sounds more like traditional Megadeth is Crush Em. But then you got some really good alternative rock tracks. Uh, for example, Insomnia. Prince of Darkness, The Doctor is Calling, and Seven. Just really great alternative rock tracks. There are two ballads, which for me are maybe a little weaker, but I still like them. They're called Breadline and I'll Be There. But they don't take away from the album. It's an album that I listen to it often. And if you take it for what it is, I think it can be appreciated. I, this is an album that I, I will always defend when, when people try to tear it down. I just really like this one. Next is Dark Side of the Spoon by Ministry, released on June 8th, 1999, through Warner Brothers Records, and this is an album that gets overlooked. So after Psalm 69, they released uh, two more albums in the 90s, uh, Filth Pig and Dark Side of the Spoon. This one doesn't really have the same sound as Psalm 69. They get a little more experimental. The songs that are close to that late 80s, early 90s sound are Supermanic Soul and Bad Blood. Those ones have more of those like thrash metal style guitar samples and um, more of that classic sound. But the other songs play around with different sounds. There are more like Middle Eastern sounds, different types of samples. And overall, it's pretty good. It's a little darker. It's a little more experimental. Al Jorgensen uses some different vocal styles. You hear some vocals that are similar to like the song Jesus Built My Hot Rod, like those like distorted vocals and other forms of just you know, different styles. Not the best ministry album, but I think it gets overlooked and worth a mention. Next is Freedom by Suicidal Tendencies, released in 1999 on Suicidal Records. And it's a pretty cool album. 
I think it's more of a return to their punk rock style of their debut. And you can see like the spelling is different. It's F-R-E-E-D-U-M-B as opposed to the traditional spelling of freedom. The album cover is a parody of that classic World War II photo called Raising the Flag on Iwo Jima. And I like this album. It's filled with short songs around two or three minutes long. The one that stands out and is completely different is the final track called Heaven. It sounds like something that could have been on like the Art of Rebellion album. It's an alternative rock song with acoustic guitars and more melodic singing. But the rest of the songs are fast-paced. They're aggressive. The song that stands out for me is called I Ain't Like You. This has a memorable crossover thrash guitar riff and lots of energy and aggression and some cool funky bass playing. The song Psycho Vision is really cool. It's just hardcore punk rock. Actually reminds me of the song Territorial Pissings by Nirvana. The song Built to Survive has some funky bass playing similar to that side band uh, they had called Infectious Grooves. But it still has that punk rock and crossover energy. It's just one of my favorite albums after The Art of Rebellion. A little different, but very good. The last album I'm going to talk about is called Euphoria Morning by Chris Cornell, released on September 21st, 1999. This is his only solo album, released during the time when Soundgarden were no longer together and before he joined Audio Slave. So it's a really good album, mixes alternative rock, but also has um, psychedelic undertones and there are elements of folk rock. And I think he did something fairly original on this album. So the opening track is called Can't Change Me. One of the singles, it has a cool uh, alternative rock sound mixing, a little bit of that late 60s psychedelia. Flutter Girl, another alternative rock song with some cool like reverb guitar effects. And I really like the guitar tone. And there's some softer songs like Preaching the End of the World and Follow My Way. Those are more folk rock songs. And then the song When I'm Down is more I like a piano-based jazz song. Then he has the song Wave Goodbye. Really like the use of like the wah-wah effect on the rhythm guitar and... A really good album. Like he uses like, like lots of different guitar tones, so that's what makes it unique. It doesn't sound like Soundgarden. Maybe two songs like Mission and Pillow of Your Bones might be something similar to like the Down on the Upside album, but otherwise, a really good solo album. And that is all. This is the last episode, like I said, of my underrated albums uh, of the '90s series. I may revisit it at some point in the future, or I may do something that's more genre specific and go year by year. I don't know. If you have any ideas, tell me in the comments and I'll maybe start something up if it sounds like something I'm interested in. That's all. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. I got some more stuff coming up over the weekend and some more new releases. That's all. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.